Welcome back, folks. Well, a few clouds cruising our skies here at the time, but uh, you know what? There are some little breaks in those clouds, and most notably the one up here on the top of your screen. But uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to manage to get some sunshine here through, and, uh, and that could work against us actually here this morning when it comes to the showers and thunderstorms uh, that we have possible in the forecast for us. We were expecting to see some already by now, but really split off into two groups. One went kind of south of us, and the other one went a bit to the north, and we got hung out to dry right in between but still with the cold front back to our west in fact still located about in this uh, general region right here as long as that's still back off to our west we're still generating lift in the atmosphere and we have a very moisture rich environment so that's why i think once we get the sunrise i want to maybe add a little bit of energy here into northwest florida we could still pop off a few more storms because basically all we've seen is just one or two little small stray scatter showers right now along that frontal boundary but well, it's still possible here for us this morning to get a few more to go off, and we'll carry a rain chance through about 8 or 9 o'clock here this morning. As that frontal boundary continues to work its way east, though, once it passes you by, you'll notice your winds shifting to the west, and that'll spell the end of your rain chances there through the rest of the day. So your rain chance, not as high as what we were talking yesterday, much lower there through the rest of the morning hours here, and uh, we'll just carry a possible spot through about 9 or 10 o'clock. So once we head into the daytime today, these wind speeds that are howling right Right now from the south pumping up the warm moist air force with temperatures around 70 degrees right now in Panama City and moisture running very sticky outside that all changes when this cold front passes we'll get a good northwesterly wind and they'll still remain breezy here expecting about 15 to 25 25 mile per hour winds throughout today but you could have gusts along that front up to about 30. look what it does to your temperatures as well those temperatures actually drop just slightly throughout the daytime we're at our warmest uh, right now in the panhandle and then by the end of the day we could actually see those temperatures fall into the low 60s skies clear out tonight we'll get rather chilly starting off your daytime tomorrow folks so if you like the warm and humid weather well, you better soak up what you got here in the forecast and what you got left here for today. Tomorrow's temperatures under sunshine only warm up to about 63 degrees. Guys. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm welcoming to the show uh, the Dovalinas, Guillermo and Danielle Dovalina, local chefs. You might recognize their pizza truck, um, but they're not cooking pizza for us today. <laughs> Something special for Valentine's Day if you're trying to impress a special someone and maybe chocolate isn't quite doing it. So we've got a special dish that we're preparing today. What do you guys have for us? Uh, we have a local bay shrimp ceviche. Ooh. Yeah. Is it easy? Because, you know, my level of skill with cooking is uh, not that high. The, <laughs> the harder easy. it is to say, the harder it is to prepare. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, it's very easy, right, Love? No, that is not true okay. at all. This is going to be so easy. You know why? Why? You don't even have to cook anything. That is the beautiful thing about ceviche. You don't ceviche. have to turn on a stove, oven, nothing. What's going to do your cooking is your lemon and your lime juice. All right, yeah. so how do we get started here? Oh, well, uh, we got our marinated ceviche. We uh, marinated it for uh, 20 minutes. It's... Uh, Pretty simple. You just take your raw shrimp, peel it, devein it, uh, take the heads off, and then into there. That's the and hard part. <laughs> you wanna, when you marinate it, you cover it with your lemon and lime juice. Okay. Yeah, a lemon, lime, uh, cover it 20 minutes till it turns white. It this should be good. This is that zest, I guess. Huh? Oh, yeah, that tang. That's what you want. And you want it's, that. it's what cooks it. Exactly. Yeah. So red onion, fine dice, Fresno pepper, also fine dice. We'll take the uh, jalapeno fine. Cilantro, cilantro. also. I love Chopped. cilantro. Sea salt, pepper, little olive oil. Can you hook that up, baby, though? Oh, yeah. Hook that up. Then there. we just have to mix this together. How easy is that? Yeah, oh, my gosh. It so easy. This is at my scale level. We're doing good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. then I like to serve it with a little bit of avocado. Do you want to play? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And also some tortilla chips. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, pretty much it's done. Wow, well, that was nice. easy. Super, yeah, was great, super yeah. easy. So we so got a little bit. the longest part is... Peeling the shrimp. Yeah. Letting it marinate. Peeling okay. the shrimp. Okay. Maybe minutes. going to buy it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so marinate it for about 30 minutes, you said? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's the prep. And it looks so pretty. Oh, yeah. Well, we have a uh, tangy, uh, spicy, and salty, and uh, we need a little bit of sweet. So uh, save a little bit of love for your love and hit it with some <laughs> agave nectar just to sweeten things up. For yeah. Valentine's cool. Day. And remember, you're getting all your heat from a little bit of Fresnos and jalapenos. That sounds good. And then do you normally just put it on the tortilla chip? Or I've seen people eat it on plantain chips as well. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, you, you could can just, just eat like it. tortilla chips here, like like this here. And mm. All ahead, right, bring it on. All right, there we've got go, about Ty. 30 seconds here. But again, mm. this is pretty easy. How long should it take you total to do, you think? Yeah. I mean, here you go, bro. I Absolutely. would think it would oh, only gosh. take you about 40 minutes. Mm. Yeah. This is something that is available with our catering. 
and we can come mm -hmm. up right to your house. Yeah, you can uh, have uh, you know wood-fired pizza and ceviche, or ribeyes and ceviche, anything you like. We mm -hmm. accommodate everything. Excellent. This is a perfect combo. Well, yeah. I'm going to say this with my mouth full. We'll be right back after the break, but we are posting their recipe online so you can make it for yourself this Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank on. You. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And you too, Panama City. <laughs> this is so good. Well, it is Valentine's Day, folks. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you've got something special in store for you or planning to do something special for your loved one here for today. Maybe it's to catch that beautiful sunrise here this morning. It's gorgeous outside with just a little bit of cloud cover off towards the eastern sky. It's all a part of a little bit of these showers and thunderstorms that are actually developing across Texas right now. And some of these overshooting cloud tops are going to be gracing their way across uh, portions of the upper uh, northern Gulf Coast, rather. And they'll head our direction as we go into tomorrow, those showers and thunderstorms. But nothing like that in the forecast for you today. Just beautiful blue skies and some thin, wispy upper-level clouds at times. While wind speeds are calm and with those relatively clear skies going, you've got cold temperatures this morning. If you were trying to catch that sunrise, which is happening right now, but a little bit of that cloud cover is blocking it out. Well, you need to dress a little bit warmly here, and I think everybody should for the first couple hours this morning until we can get that sun up over those clouds and get you a little bit of warming going on, which will be abundant here in the forecast for us today. It's certainly going to require a jacket for that early morning commute. Well, dew point temperatures very dry still right now. That's what allowed us to cool off with the clear skies and calm winds. But look what happens as we head throughout our daytime. We'll pick up a southerly wind just like that. And it actually turns really breezy as we head into this evening and tomorrow morning. That's going to feed a whole lot of moisture into that approaching cold front and that storm system that's just off to our west. So it's going to give us a nice ripe atmosphere to develop some showers and thunderstorms here for us. You notice most of that activity those days to our west here for our today and most of our day stays actually pretty beautiful. But once we head into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning, that line of showers and thunderstorms, it's a cold front, will pass its way through. So a stormy start expected for tomorrow. A few clouds would be possible left over into the afternoon, maybe a stray shower, but those would be few and far between once we head past tomorrow morning. So I think that uh, once we get past then, things will be shaping up for the rest of the week. It'll be shaping up to be a bit chillier, too. Your temperature starting off of that morning brunch, kind of cool outside still. About 8, 9 o'clock will be in the mid-50s. Warm up nicely there if you've got any midday plans. The temperature's in the 70s here for this afternoon. And dinner plans tonight won't get too cold. We'll fall down into the 60s here, especially down along the coastline for the overnight hours there. Morning storms, though, tomorrow, and we're going to break that storm system down a bit more, especially the timing here in about five minutes. Guys?